is a country who has always found itself in the middle of the crossfire, but whose resilience has allowed it to bounce back into one of EU's booming economies today. Join me in my exploration of one of Central Europe's most resilient nations. From its deep underground treasures to its vast sky, from experiences of the saintly and otherwise. This is good fun. From Warsaw, it is a short plane ride to the city of Zesów in southeastern Poland where I meet my friend Niros, a fellow pilot. Hello, hello, Joy. Nice to meet you. I'm happy to be in Poland. In Poland. <laughs> Zesów is an old city and in recent years has become an industrial, commercial, and academic center in southeastern Poland. So it is my town. The name of this town is Rzeszów. Try to Rzeszów. <laughs> okay. We stop by Zesów's iconic landmark, the Revolution Monument. Andre, another longtime pilot friend, was also there to join us. Uh, it's uh, our famous uh, monument. Uh, we are a communist country for 50 years, so it's a uh, symbol of uh, friendship between Polish and uh, Russian soldiers. Uh, the symbol of my town is the, on the top of this uh, monument, yeah, this, this cross. It's a Rzeszów cross. Many people have different interpretations of the structure, but it is in fact a laurel leaf, dedicated to those who fought for freedom in the region. We make our way to the town square where people are enjoying the warm summer evening. <laughs> you know, I don't really drink too much. <laughs> The Polish love their drink, and we spent the evening catching up over a pint of Polish beer, which turned into several. Well, Miro and Andres, you make me so drunk already. I'm so red. I don't know if I can walk back to hotel. Don't worry, we'll go with you. You have to carry me to hotel. The next morning, Miros and Andre were ready to show me around. It's a good year. <laughs> we head towards the city of Krakow, where Miros and Andre are taking me to the site of an old airfield. This is the Polish Aviation Museum, which now stands what used to be the Rakowice Airport one of Europe's oldest airfields. The museum preserves an extensive collection of aircraft and other significant items in the world's aviation history. It opens to a large aircraft yard where you can find a lot of interesting and rare airplanes. took the training of this aircraft in Kyiv. So if I lived here maybe a couple of years back, I would have been flying this airplane all over the place. I've never seen more MiGs in one place. This is a 22-seat Polish-made aircraft. And if I was visiting Miro in 1959, 
I would have probably flown in one of these. I must have seen more than a hundred aircraft in one afternoon. From pre-war fighter planes, to gliders and other aircraft that are unique examples of their kind. It's a place every aviator should visit. There is still more of Poland I need to explore. Join me as I descend a thousand feet below the ground to find some of the most remarkable sights up next.